day for that H2 Duramax conversion slot. Yes! Right on. Johnny Magic here at uh, E Charger Systems home base in Wichita, Kansas. Today we're back on the Yellow H2. It sounds awesome, man. This thing's up and running. Uh, this is going to be step six of uh, the uh, Duramax conversion swap for the H2 Hummer. Uh, right now they're checking a few different things. Got the program in there. All, all looks good. So hopefully you get to go out and beat on this thing. But uh, let's I'll do an overview of some of the stuff that uh, they've done up until this point. It looks like the electrical's done, uh, the cooling's done, the, uh, the new type of uh, intake system is done with the monitors and stuff like that on there so we can uh, kind of see what happens on the suction side but uh, see the fit and finish on this the new version the lower radius port with the proper radiator in it and the proper way to do it that actually has three times the structural integrity that the normal uh, front uh, lower tray has plus it has a tremendously uh, much bigger uh, frontal airflow surface area because of the reduction in you know taking that lower tray off and designing a uh, what we call a box beam system it's a one by three tubular structural steel that runs from left to right on the aprons and stuff like that which improves that frontal airflow uh, makes an extreme difference in um, structural uh, on the structural side and, and the way to, to, to identify that you know really easy if you got an H2 Hummer Go out there and pop the hood and look at where the hood hinges are mounted. And as that hood sets there and rocks, you'll see the whole front end of that thing just, you know, it's just a piece of steel, flat piece of steel. It just sets there and moves back and forth. So it's not very strong at all. So the newer one's way stronger than the old one. Same with the upper tie bar. I mean, it's, it's, it's a two-plane upper tie bar that's all steel seam welded. And uh, so, yeah, a lot more structural support there. The fit and finish on it, the hood gaps, everything looks great. On this with the new system, so I like that. And I'm excited to go drive this thing. This is our 800 horse package, so that's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, looks like at this time we're going to go ahead and get ready. I mean, there's not much more to talk about. I mean, one thing that you want to do, like we, we we did speak about in the other sessions, is at this time everybody's excited to get this thing out on the road, go play with it, double check it, check it two or three times. Typically, we'll let it sit in here and run for an hour or so. Make sure that you don't have any leaks, uh, uh, you know, or anything's rubbing or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So once you got that done, then it's time to hit the road. Johnny Magic, E-Charger Systems, H-Line Conversions. Yeah, baby. Johnny Magic here at EMJ Compounds, and we got the uh, yellow H2 with the Duramax diesel crazy power. It's our red line package and um, we're here to drive so we're gonna go out here and roll some coal baby let's see what this thing's got plug in the monitor beautiful sound you hear the little turbo wind up and stuff like that that's it safety second cylinder motor and all of a sudden it's a great great vehicle but uh, tow hauls my mode is performance based uh, I don't even have to use the brake to deaccelerate the thing just deaccelerates on its own so um, looks like uh, we got a few little lights on the dash it's normal because of course in this red line package uh, we've disconnected the ABS at this point we'll probably put it on the toggle for the customers you know stuff like that but don't want ABS for sure because as soon as you start to blister a tire, the brakes try to go active and 
fuel wasted, so we're not about that. We're about performance without sacrifice of fuel economy.